Welcome to the Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hello everyone, this is Mastan Bishek working as a Cloud Research Associate for Miracle Innovation Labs. Today I would like to show a live demo on continuous deployment from GitHub to Pivotal Web Services through Concourse. Here is the agenda for today's video. In this video, I would like to speak about what is Pivotal Web Services and its features, what is continuous deployment and its life cycle, introduction to Concourse and its features, how continuous deployment will be done from GitHub to Pivotal Web Services using Concourse, followed by a live demo. What is Pivotal Web Services? Before going to speak about Pivotal Web Services, I would like to introduce Pivotal Cloud Foundry. PCF is a platform as a service on which the developers can build, deploy, run, and scale next-gen applications. PCF can be deployed on different cloud platforms like Azure, AWS, GCP, OpenStack, and it is a multi-cloud. The name itself says that we can deploy applications in a public cloud or within our data center. Now coming to PWS, PWS is an instance of PCF hosted on Amazon Web Services, and PWS is a public cloud. Let us discuss about features of Pivotal Web Services. PWS supports multiple runtime environments and different frameworks like Java, Spring, Node.js. The developer no need to worry about the runtime environment. He just write the application in any language and can deploy it into PWS. In PWS, we have Marketplace, which provide different third-party services to the users. By just binding that service to the application, we can consume that service and we can manage the service directly from the PWS developer console. PWS not only provides the services under the marketplace, we can add other cloud services with the help of service brokers. We have service brokers for AWS, Azure, and GCP. By using that service brokers, we can add the cloud services to PWS marketplace. These are the features of Pivotal Web Services. Continuous Deployment Nowadays, continuous deployment is a hot buzzword for DevOps community. It is a software strategy which enables the organizations to deliver new features to users as fast as possible. The main goal is to enable the constant flow of changes into production environment automatically. Here is the life cycle for continuous deployment. Whenever a new version of an application is available, it can be integrated into the code and deployed to testing environment. In this case, the new version of an application is rigorously tested to ensure that it meets all desired system qualities. This is the whole concept behind continuous deployment. Introduction to Concourse. Concourse is mainly developed for Cloud Foundry. It is a continuous delivery technology that mainly focuses on pipelines. Here we have a sample pipeline which shows the deployment of an application from GitHub to PWS through Concourse. The structure of your pipeline will be discussed in the live demo. Let us discuss about features of Concourse. Concourse is very simple and scalable. In this, we can define pipeline in a single configuration file. Concourse can be deployed on any cloud platform or in local machine. It is infrastructure independent. It can be deployed on different cloud platforms like AWS, GCP, VMware with Bosch support. And it is a platform independent also. We can test Concourse on various platforms like Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Even though the Concourse is developed for CF, it can be integrated with different resource steps like GitHub, S3, and Docker image. These are the features of Concourse. How continuous deployment will be done through Concourse from GitHub to PWS? The main goal of the PWS is to make the application up to date by providing new versions of build packs. Build packs provide runtime environment to the applications that are deployed on PWS. Whenever a new version of build pack is released, it automatically deployed to PWS through Concourse. Here is the flow for this. Whenever a new version of build pack is released in GitHub, webhooks are fired to Concourse. Webhooks are scripts which run automatically whenever a new event is occurs in GitHub. The build pack is loaded and tested automatically through Concourse. Now, the build pack cache is refreshed in PWS. We can get the new version of build pack. Here is the live demo for continuous deployment to PWS. In this, we will see the pipeline structure which shows deployment of an application from GitHub to PWS. So, to prepare for the pipeline, first we need to sign up for a PWS account and we have to set up Concourse. This is the UI for Concourse. I installed it in my local machine using Vagrin. For Concourse, we have to use a command line interface named as FlyCLI. It can be downloaded from Concourse UI according to our platform. Here is the application in GitHub which I want to deploy to PWS through Concourse. 
and this is the developer console for PWS. Currently, there is no running application in my PWS account. Now we will see the structure of your pipeline. This is the structure of the pipeline. This pipeline definition has two resources and one shop. The first resource is simply a pointer to GitHub repository which contains the web application. The second resource defines the CF instance where the developer wants to deploy the application. Here we can see the job which consists in name and plan. The plan has three steps. It gets the application from GitHub, runs them and deploys the application to PWS. Here trigger true means it triggers the job on any new commit to Git resource. Now we have a pipeline file for deploying application from GitHub to PWS. Now we have to set up the pipeline on our local concourse deployment through CLI. Before that, we need to authenticate to the concourse target. Here I am running the command to login into concourse. Now our target is saved. Here I am set the pipeline on our concourse by running the following command. Here I am giving the pipeline name as demo. After running the command, it will show the full templated pipeline AML and allows you to confirm before pushing the application to concourse. Here I am giving S. Now the pipeline is set. I am moving to concourse UI. Here we will notice the pipeline shows up in the UI. And we can unpass the pipeline here. Now a new build will be triggered and our application will be pushed to PWS. The green color represents that our application is successfully deployed to PWS. Now I am moving to PWS console. Here we can observe that our application is running. And by clicking on this URL we can get the output of the application. This is the output for the application. Like this the concourse will continuously deploy the new versions of an application to PWS. Concourse will automatically scoop up build pack updates and deploys them to PWS. By this our application always up to date and secure. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.